Hello everyone, and welcome to Eric's Life, where every day is a new chapter. And in this episode, we're just going to recap some of the things that happened here in the month of May. It has been a very, very busy month this year. Uh, lots of uh, scouting fun, uh, which you'll see in a moment. Um, right now, you're currently watching my second birthday celebration in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Posted at Kyle's place this year. It was very cool. Um, and then uh, Colton gave me a really great uh, 25th birthday. I'm 25 years old now. Quarter of a century. Yippee. Only goes down from there, right? Joking aside, uh, it has been a very exciting month. And this vlog uh, leads into uh, the next episode, uh, the next chapter. Uh, which will be uh, our life at Disney World in Orlando, Florida, uh, more specifically Hollywood Studios and Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It's been a plan two years in the making, and we're very excited to go on that trip. Uh, but for now, in this video, uh, enjoy some of the uh, the scouting fun um, and really just all the all the great things that have happened recently. Uh, we'll be getting married in a couple months. We're very excited, and uh, as a uh, an update from the last vlog, I did in fact finish the uh, the rewrites of my third novel and those rewrites I've been working on for two and a half years so I I did keep to my word and I finished that project this May uh, very close to the end of the month here so pretty happy about that and uh, without further ado here's the rest of the video thank you for watching Hey, baby. <laughs> Look what Colton baked for my birthday. It looks beautiful, babe. Thank you. I'm a quarter of a century old, so I get eight strawberries. How does that math work out? <laughs> I can't do math. <laughs> How do we get that top one? Alright. Do you have something to say to me? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Eric. Happy birthday to you. Me. <laughs> All him. Quarter of a century aged chocolate. Yeah. 25. <laughs> yes, he made this all by himself from I scratch. I did. I actually baked something from scratch. Yeah. Do you want to explain what all you did? So I shoved some eggs and some chocolate together and it birthed this. <laughs> yes, and this. Also this. <sighs> I got two for one. Look at that cake. Mm. Look at the cake. Say hi. Look at that cake. I'm not cake. <laughs> I'm not cake. I'm not cake. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Eric and I are about to devour this. And I'm about to devour you. <laughs> Stemmy. Let's make for some pretty slosses. <laughs> Zoom like never before. With the new Sony CV1. <laughs> Autofocus engaged.
we are at the Emmanuel Lutheran Church and School because today is the Dunes Moraine Scoutorama. We haven't had a Scoutorama in a few years in this district and uh, we're ready to have some fun with the local community. It's a free event. We've got 16 scout packs or troops showing off their stuff and we're really excited um, for them to be able to uh, to thrive again and uh, here at the tail end of the pandemic be able to show people in an outdoor safe setting uh, what they're all about. So we're gonna have fun for a few hours here today, Saturday, May 8th, and uh, there might be some, uh, some surprises in store. So this is Eagle Scout Eric signing off here to let the scouts and the volunteers show you their stories. Hey buddy, are you gonna join scouts? So why did you get first place today? Uh, because uh, first of all, big shout out goes to my dad. Yeah. He helped me a lot to th this year, and my brother. This is I've only gotten first this year. I've been a second. I've been a second place guy my whole life since my. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. You got to hit. Did you girls teach some knots? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know all the knots on the board? No. No. Not yet. You will. <laughs> Courage. Courage does not mean you have no fear of danger. It means you can face danger despite your fear. In recognition, uh, we wanted to give Ed a nice plaque so he can add that to oh, his nice. uh, his wardrobe. I'm sure his wall's full of it. So there you go, Ed. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Ed. And, and uh, again, it, 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 it was. It's been wonderful to be able to step into this position and, and have a, and have a, a veteran uh, like Ed. Donna, Giovanna, <laughs> obviously we ended up knowing each other pretty well, um, but that first meeting at that coffee shop, they were like, we need to start a girl troop. <laughs> so uh, for your incredible work um, starting up that unit, um, we have certificates and knots for the two of you, Giovanna and Donna. But we also have um, certificates for uh, Ken and Brian, their husbands, <laughs> uh, the chartered organization representative, Greg Shenick, and then also John Yoakum. So here are those certificates. They're all paper clipped. Um, but we also just wanted to, uh, to recognize you um, for your service in membership and all that you're doing. Um, this woman right here just got us into four school districts this week alone. Wow. In the past seven wow. days, four Ooh. school districts, this woman. She did that. I'm just saying, that's a fact. Um, not to mention the wildly successful Scoutorama that we had this yeah. past Saturday. That was the first Scoutorama that we've had in several years. Nobody can remember what year the last Scoutorama <laughs> even was. That tells me we're doing something right. Kurt Ullman is being recognized tonight as a District Award of Merit. Kurt, I've known you many, many years, and I, and, 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 and I would say farmer and scout leader comes to mind. And the fact that this group, all of you people, have still continued to stick it out and to be there for our youth, that is the number one thing that, in my opinion, any adult can do, is to pave the way for a brighter future for our children. And uh, you guys all do that incredibly well. So uh, again, I just want to get a little sappy and congratulate all of you guys and those of you on Zoom and just everybody for being uh, an awesome scouting family and for being here for the right reasons. So that's all I have, thank you. I, I, I'll do stuff around the house, whether it's cooking, uh, sewing, 
Not cleaning, no, she's shaking her head, no. Uh, you know, little trivial things, but she always asks me, where did I learn how to do this? And 90% of the time, my answer is scouts. Uh, I'm not gonna sew a dress for the runway, but I can fix a ripped knee or, uh, you know, a rip in my jeans, I can always fix that. But scouting, uh, most things I do, I can tie back to what I learned in scouts, whether it's cooking, uh, like I said, sewing, just, or just leadership skills. Uh, scouts teaches you so much in, in what you do the rest of your life. My Eagle Scout project was to help raise awareness and to help young kids going through the hard process of chemotherapy. I made specially knitted uh, darn wigs and donated them to the Children's Hospital. I also donated around 450 rolls of yarn to the Magic Yarn Foundation. I'm also the quartermaster and assistant senior patrol leader for Troop 9929, which is the first girl scouting group in Chesterton, Indiana. Um, when I first approached Stuart about the decision from the committee to um, honor him as our good scout, he said, why me? I'm not an Eagle Scout. And I said, Stuart, you don't understand. It's not about what you didn't do, but it's what you have done for scouting and for our community. This is not just because of scouting, it's because of what the McMillans have done in our community, throughout the state, and even throughout the world. Two words, my friend, Stuart, congratulations, my friend. I didn't really not, did not really learn how to have integrity until I learned how to admit that I was wrong. I've been blessed to have a career with very few regrets. It has allowed me to travel the world and see many places where I know I could live. You can live about anywhere, but home is where your friends are, and I am proud to call Valparaiso my home. Even if I had to spell it on the phone all the time. <laughs> Thank you for honoring me here tonight. It has allowed me to reflect, reflect on what you all mean to me. Thank you, my friends, for all the support you've given me over the years. Thank you. We're not big, but we are great. And I, we have really good leaders, and I'm really proud of all those leaders. And one of those leaders that I would like to honor now is the chairman of tonight, Paul Shara. If you can come up here for us. <laughs> Cousin Carr, appreciation for, uh, for leading us this year. We really appreciate it. We're, we're an ugly bunch. I think we got it done. I fit right in. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thanks, Jeff. We appreciate it. And it's not so much the geography, it's the people. I've said this story many times, that since I've lived here, you all are just wonderful. And I mean that. You know, the stories that we've heard from Stu, and from so many of you tonight that I talked to Mr. Hoffman, I'm, you're in here, I heard your story. And it's amazing. I have told so many of my fellow scouts across the country about the map and what it does, not just for first responders, but your vision of actually incorporating younger people to be a part of it. And that me as a scouting sector of the South Council, I need to be a part of this. So thank you, sir, for not only your sponsorship, but being a leader. Thank you, sir. 